So, um, I was going to talk about how some people look so similar. Like, you might see a face that looks like somebody you know, but it's not the same person. Uh, or somebody that reminds you of the other person that you knew. Um, I was thinking also about, um, like how somebody might be able to see the future, um, like in the World of Tomorrow movie. Um, they had this machine that, um, let them see ahead of time or in the past, maybe in the ahead of time, the present and the future. And like, depending on what you said or did, it affected the future. Um, I don't know if that's a real thing or just for the movie. You know, sometimes some things in movies become real things in our world. So that's what I was wondering about. That machine in the world of tomorrow. Maybe. So if somebody could see a future of some person ahead of time, then maybe. Then I guess they would wait to see if it really happened. Um, but I don't know if that's true or not. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, I wouldn't be like, you know, that chat GPT thing. You can, uh, it instantaneously tells you, it doesn't even take time to watch a video. It like, it seems like it doesn't even need to watch it before it knows what's happening in the video. Um, because I think because they put the words to where it can probably scan the words super fast and then it already knows what's in there, even without looking at images or anything. So for us, it takes a long time because we have to watch through it. You know, we don't fast watch. Some people might fast watch things or fast read things, but it's really, it's, it's a skill that takes a lot of work to, or I don't know if everybody can learn that. Um, <clears throat> so the, it's like the computer chat GPT new thing. Um, AI type thing is really fast. I'm amazed at how fast, like within a second, it already knows what's in the video. Um, because I think they put the words to chat to text, and it's so fast it can read the text super fast. Um, let's see. Could be something like that, or. Like, we don't know in the present what we're going to say or do in the future, but um, someone else might know if they had a machine thing. Because once we do say or do something, it's already recorded, whether it's recorded by our cameras or not. I guess just the so, somewhere it's recorded. I don't know where. I'm trying to think of where. It's like a godly realm type thing. Um, they call it something up up above the earth, or all hu human knowledge is up there. And whether it's future or past, it's all up there and accessible. Um, so you might learn something of the future, like a vision because it's already happened and it's up there in the cloud up somewhere up there and you dream about it because it's downloaded to your brain sort of I don't know how it is or God gives it to you like maybe he can do it without any wiring or anything just like kind of how we have <clears throat> things through the air come to us like the technology we have now <clears throat> um I just wondered how Jesus could heal people so fast like the process of their healing could be sped up in a way and so it's instantaneous and it seems like magic or a miracle it's probably like a type of magic maybe he had certain powers that, um, he said godly powers, but maybe since we're going to be like him, maybe we'll have those type of powers too in the future. 
where you know because of our, our love of the love of God within us we'll be able to heal others also but not in our own name and in his name only in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who um, was the son of God who obeyed his father <clears throat> So we obey our Father also as children of God. We're all children of God. I you know it or not, and I don't want to wish any harm on anybody. I wish the world would just be good and not be bad. <clears throat> but it's not in my hands, actually. It's God's hands. He controls it all. And I just pray for my children. I want them to know God, to be saved, and I pray for all the little creatures and animals. I wouldn't want them to suffer because of man's disobedience, no. Um, they shouldn't suffer because of our, um, our sins. Animals should, um, I think they're more innocent than people. I don't even think they sinned. But they're affected by it. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna get off now because I just had a thought about uh, about the future stuff, like how people could know it before. Sort of like when you dream and have a dream, it seems like a future thing, but it hasn't happened yet. Sort of like that, but in a machine, maybe. Okay. Bye-bye.